This video will show you how to do the initial tournament download. Um, I've got the Cat 2 installed on the desktop here, but there's no data file. Um, the All the Cat data is going to live in, if you go to my documents, there's a folder called Cat. And uh, there, uh, right now I have stuff in here, but none of this is the uh, working data file. Um, your, your Cat folder will probably look blank. Click on this to open the Cat. Um, give yourself permission to use it, and the first thing that pops up is this message that says it can't find the data in the directory. You have to use the Generate Load Data File button in the bottom right. Okay, so here is the Generate Load Data File button in the bottom right. I'll click on that. And notice that you can do lots of things here. Initialize blank data file. If you had the file saved somewhere on the computer, you could mark it here. You can erase and reinitialize an existing data file and then do everything manually um, or import something using the universal data structure, for example, imported from the TRPC. But what you want to do is load a file from the internet, type in your username and password, and click this button. Uh, notice there are four steps here and you'll kind of get walked through it. So click on Show My Tournaments. Um, since I'm the administrator, all of my tournaments show up. Here they all are. Um, but you uh, you're, will probably only have a couple. But click on the one you want to download. I'm going to download the Michigan Summer Institute. Uh, there's only one division there, so I'm going to download it. But if you wanted to only run a couple divisions on your computer, this is how you would do it. And then when you're ready, click Download. Here's a warning message. You say yes. Opening site, and the file is downloading. This uh, How long this takes will depend on your connection speed, of course, but also the size of your tournament. This should go by in uh, something under a minute. This is by Deep Hope. Or else I will be re recording this video. Uh, okay, 24 seconds it took. Okay, now once I've done that, I need to make sure the tournament setup goes on. I would recommend you click on this, this will describe it, but basically you just click on these buttons in order, and then it'll update the message right here. And the message we're getting, it says, the judges do not appear to be initialized for the event of division eligibility. Go to the Setup Round Schedule screen and click on the Initialize judge, Judges button. Okay, so the Setup Round Schedule screen, and we're looking for this button. Here's the Setup Round Schedule button. The Judge Room Initialization is down here. I'll click on that. And now they're initialized. We go back to the main menu, and it says the setup is complete. You're ready to start pairing. You can... Uh, Come here for the tournament wide settings and rename it. Let's just tell it it's going to do everything offline. And now you can click on, uh, you can enter the teams and change them however you want. Enter judges, enter rooms, enter conflicts by judges. You might want to do all this stuff just to make sure you've got all your entries in order. And when you're done with that, you're ready to schedule the pairing.